high. You see, success cannot lower its standards to accommodate it. You, see? you need to rise or raise your standards in order to achieve it. You realize that God provides food for all beds, but not in the nest. Okay? So you have to rise and face your challenges in order to overcome your fears. You see, one way of overcoming mathematical fear is to ensure that you watch every much solution. Okay? Subscribe to the channel, my company dot ms dot yeah, so you will get subscribed give you more insights into your course so join me as we try to sack one spiritual fear as far as uh, your course introductory analysis is concerned that fear is to prove that okay so we will be saying that so given uh, that the limit of one plus one over n so to the power n as n approaches infinity uh, is equal to e. So we are giving them this is this. Then given this we are showing so show that the limit of one plus one over x exponent x as x approaches infinity is equal to e. So this is a, a problem that I want to solve today. Okay. Now to actually solve this, just as I seen it, this is the proof. So you are proving that if this is equal to B, then this is also equal to B. That is all I want to do. And you want to do that by imposing certain conditions. Okay, so the first condition you want to say is that S is, is a value, okay, it's a real number, but we want to impose a condition on it. So we want to say that let or suppose that S is greater than 1. Now we are doing that purpose because if S is 1, we realize that this place will give us 1, so we are in uh, 2 to the power X. I don't think that will lead us to, the, to getting E, okay. So we impose a condition so that X is greater than 1. This also prevents us from thinking of negative s. Okay, so if x is greater than 1, then we are looking at the smallest domain that uh, s can be within. So we realize that we can have n, okay, so we have n which is uh, less than x, which is less than uh, n plus 1, where n belongs in the set of natural numbers. This is very meaningful. Because what we're trying to do is that we have n here, and we know this n belongs to the set of natural numbers. And natural numbers begin from point 1. So the first element in the set of natural numbers is also 1. So if we are saying that x should be greater than 1, then if n is here, and the first element, for instance, is 1, then we'll be having something like this 1 less than x. So the successor of that first element becomes 2. So we have two. So one is in between one. Uh, S is between what one and what two. That is the smallest domain or interval that we wish to create, so that we will account this particular thing. All right. So having created this uh, domain, all that we need to do is to have our function uh, written here. So we have one plus one over x. Uh, exponent s. Okay. Now, if you have been watching performance solutions, you realize that at a point we were talking about uh, this particular concept as the, the squeeze theory, or okay, the sandwich theory, where we say that when it is possible that we have a sequence uh, and, uh, and they are in this order, okay, so it could be less than or equal to. And we have been able to find the limits of this one as x or uh, n approaches infinity, and we are getting a certain value, say l. And the limit of this one as n approaches infinity or uh, is also given as l. Then automatically we don't have to suffer to find the limit of this one because that limit is 
skewed this issue. Okay, between this, that, and this. So, it automatically this takes on the limits. So, you said that the limits of this is also what care. That is the idea we're going to use here. So, here, yeah, we're just trying to put other functions here. Okay, so that at the end, if we're able to reach maybe E, then we put other values in the functions here. Find the limits. If we are getting E, then say, okay, then what is between or, or in, in the middle here? The limit of it also gives us of E. So let's start. Let's do the right hand side. So we want to bring less than. So this here, whatever is here, should be less than the next thing we're going to write. So this is why the creation of the interval here is very important. We want to get a value which is greater than or function greater than what is here already. So that all this raised to the power x. You realize that when I increase the power, then whatever I will get will be greater compared to what is here. So let me try writing the same thing here, 1 plus 1 over x. Then I want to make the exponent here bigger compared to this. So I come to the interval. So that x is less than more n plus 1. x is less than. It means that whatever is here is greater than s. So the moment I replace s with n plus 1, then whatever function I'm getting here is greater than what is here. So I have here n plus 1. Yeah. I wish to continue. Okay, so to maintain this, so I have less than. Now, I have all these here, but the next one I wish to write should be greater than what is here. So then I look at it again. I, I, I'm doing this bearing in mind what is given to me. So I am trying to change this one to look like this one. So once it's looking like it, then I say it's E. Then we are on course. So you realize that what is here is 1 plus 1 over x. Now the denominator here is x, and uh, if I want a function here which is greater, or which will be greater than this one, then I wish to say that okay, if this place is x, then I wish to get a value okay which is uh, greater than x. So I come here, and you realize that we are in one plus then one. Then what do we have? We let's take simple uh, example. If for instance I have one over two, we realize that it's giving me half. And this time around, if I, the same one is here and I want to divide it by zero point five. Okay. So that in this case the result is going to be worth two. So this one, when the denominator becomes very small, we get a very big value. So if s is here, then I need a value which is less than s to place here. Then the, the function I'm getting is greater than what is here. So I come to the denominator. Okay, n is less than s. I don't have any problem. N is less than s. So I can now replace x here with n. So I come here and place here to be what n. Then everything will be right. Is it that we are overcoming the problem gradually? Now, at this point, I don't intend to move on again because I have been successful in changing everything from x to what to n. What I need to do now is to find the limit of this one. So let me find the limit of 1 plus 1 over n. And let's see what will happen. As n gets closer to infinity. Okay, so for this aspect, we realize that this will be equal to. Now, from indices, you agree with me that this one will be written as the limit of 1 plus 1 over n, exponent n, then multiplied by the limit of 1 plus 1 over n. Because this one, when this and this multiply, then the powers can be added. Now, as n approaches infinity, n approaches infinity. Now, as n approaches infinity, there is a certain limit. 
he says that anytime we have uh, one, so the limits of one over n as n approaches infinity, this one will give us what we call uh, zero. That's the limit. So using that here, see so that this place becomes zero. Zero plus one gives us what one. Now look at this one here. One here. And see that it is the same as what is given to us. So we don't need to suffer. But only to say that what is here is E. So if this is E, then we multiply it by one here and you are getting which is what E. So for this particular sequence of function we have to the right of it, we have been able to show that what is here, we are getting E. Now let's try and create some at the left so I can see what happens. So I want to maintain this and so I bring less than. It means what I'm writing here is going to be less than this one. So let's see. What should I change so that what is going to be written here becomes less than what is here? Okay, let's start from this. So we have 1 plus 1 over something. Okay, exponent x. Here is x. But I want something which is less than this. So if this is x, then you realize that I need to bring in a very big value for x. So if the x value here becomes b, then it reduces the, the, the sequence or the function you are getting here after. So I come here looking for something that is greater than x. So you see that x here, we have been told, is less than n plus 1. It means n plus 1 is greater than this. So I can put here n plus 1. So that gradually we are changing this one to from s to n. So let's say less than. So what I'm going to write here will be less than this. So look at the power. If this power is x, so I'm looking at a power which is less than s. So if this is uh, 3 for instance, then the next one I'm going to write should be power 2 which is less than this x. So I, I look through what is less than x, n. n is less than x, so I come here and say that okay, this is 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 over n. So that here, everything now is in what uh, n. So just as we've done here, we'll find the limit of this. If it, if it is equal to p, and voila, voilà. it means that the limit of this one is also e. Alright, so let's see. The limit of 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 is with n. Alright. Now, the only difficulty you, you may think you have is if when you compare this one with this. So that here is n, n, and you're having e. And here is n plus 1 and n. So, there is a little difficulty. Okay, what we can do is to say that we let n be equal to n plus 1. So if n equals n plus 1, then we can find the value of n. So it means that n will be equal to n minus 1. So any place that we see n, we are going to write n, uh, n minus 1. So it means that whatever you have here, now becomes the limit of 1 plus 1 over n. Right? Then n here, we have, been, we have found it to be n minus 1. So here, n minus 1. As n approaches infinity. Right, let's go and buy some space here and finish off our this. So from there, we will say that we're going to have the limit of alright so we can write everything there as 1 plus 1 over n as n approaches infinity divided by the limit of 1 plus 1 over n as n approaches infinity alright so we have it now this is true from indices because here we have n minus 1 so it means that we are dividing when the base are the same, then we subtract. So 
we are having this place uh, to be. Now, our work center. This is 1 and uh, the power here is M. Right. So, M is here, M is here, M is here. So, you see that the result is going to give us E. Based on the fact that here there is M, 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 and we are getting E. So, if we have M, 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 it means the top here gives us an E. And divided by, now as M approaches infinity, whatever we have here also approaches 0. So, 0 plus 1 gives us 1. So, we are dividing this place by what 1. So, at the end, we get getting what E. If by this time we should be smiling because this side is given as E. And this side also gives us as E. So we conclude that, uh, therefore, the limit of uh, 1 plus 1 over x, this means x, as x approaches infinity, is equal to e. That is by the squeeze, by the squeeze t. Yes. Okay, so... Thanks very much for watching this particular video. You may want interesting uh, questions and uh, suggestions to look at. So do your best and subscribe to the channel, and you will be engaging in very meaningful. Uh,